I want to throw something out there and see if you agree with my statement. I have noticed something in our society that is going on, and I don't know if it's because I'm getting older and I just notice these kind of things, or if I'm just at an age where maturation-wise I just catch on to this. I don't think that's it. I think there really is something going on in our country that bears paying attention to and bears uh, having a discussion about. I, I think there's a lot of lower level discussions that can go on underneath this treetop discussion and that is the polarization and demonization, might I add, that we have for each other. There's, a, there's this thing going on where we're very polarized in our opinions, very polarized in how we see things, and it's causing this, this separation, if you will, of our country, and, and I've, I've been really spending a lot of time thinking about it over the past couple years, trying to figure out where is this coming from? What is going on? I'm going to take some Jesus words, if you don't mind. Jesus speaks some amazing words about how we're supposed to relate to each other, and these words are what I call biblical acknowledgments. And I'll, I'm, in another video sometime, I hope to talk about biblical acknowledgments. Jesus is acknowledging is something that I think we need to pay attention to, and I think we need to spend a little time researching and talking about. I'm going to read the New Living Translation of Colossians 3.13. It says, Make allowance for each other's faults, and forgive anyone who offends you. Remember the Lord forgave you, so also you must forgive others. In other translations, it says, bear with one another. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go over to John. Jesus says this. He says, so now I am giving you a new commandment. Love each other. Just as I have loved you, you should love each other. Now, I realize that not everybody watching this video is going to take a biblical statement like this and accept it as coming from the mouth of Jesus Christ, the Lord and Savior. I, I, I get that, and I'm not asking you to do that. But what I want you to do, at least, if you're not one of those people who accepts Jesus in that way, maybe at least accept Jesus as a pretty smart guy who said a lot of smart things, very wise for his age. And he says these things, he says, love each other and accept each other. Now, if we take the word love. What does love do? You know, if you love somebody, like I love my kids, I love my wife, my kids mess up a lot. Of course, my wife never does. That, Of course, we all know that. But I love my kids no matter what. They are, they are my family. I love them. They mess up, but I still love them. They mess up, but I bear with them. The same that I hope they do for me when I mess up. If we could, sorry about my phone, if we could explode that idea, that very concept of loving each other. Now, Jesus doesn't put any limitations on who we love. He just says, love each other. If we take that concept and we blow it out across society, and we see somebody that's, that, that holds to an opinion or a way of life that differs from ours, but we love them, that means we have to somewhat accept them as who they are. When we begin to incorporate love in our daily walk, you know, that person that cuts you off in traffic, you know, I love them enough that I'm not going to get upset with them about it. What about that person in the grocery store that seems to have no awareness of everyone around them and just stands in the middle of the aisle and doesn't seem to care? If we love them, we'll just go, well, you know what, that's actually kind of funny, you know? I'm going to enjoy that person just as they are. I'm not going to get upset about it. Or let's say a, a cop pulls you over and you just don't feel like you deserve to get pulled over. If you love that person enough to be respectful and courteous and accept them, even if you think they're wrong, who knows what, how that may change the situation. My bottom line in all this, and, and if you'll permit me to say this, we have taken a step back in our advancement as a society when we forget that each and every person around us is deserving of love. And as Christians, if you accept that God made each and every one of us, the same fingerprints that are left on their heart by their Creator are the same fingerprints that are left on ours by our Creator. So if you spend time thinking about that and praying about that, which I hope you will, I'd like to hear down in the comments below how that impacts your life, how that changes how you see people around you. It's something to pray about, don't you think? Hey, thanks for watching.